And here we go. Hey everybody, we are out here in the forest on our piece of land, dropping off some carcasses, deer carcasses for the bears, and also some fish entrails from our ice fishing excursions. And uh, I'm not sure if the bears are awake yet, but as soon as they do, they're gonna wanna eat. And that is what I'm gonna do for them. I'm gonna feed them some meat. Right there. It should be pretty cool. So I'm gonna set up my camera on that tree right there, facing this way. So it's gonna look like that. That's on the tree, so we're gonna watch to see what's gonna eat this. Pretty sure there's a wolf in here. I'm pretty sure we'll see bears on the trail cam. Uh, there's there's three bears back here that we saw last spring. We saw three bears, no four. Three of them were black, one of them was a blonde bear, so I really hope we catch him on camera to show that he's alive and around here. And if it, if it works good enough, I'm gonna keep baiting this station here. And then I'm gonna be way back there, which is about, about 50 yards. So I'll probably be up, up up of the tree there, that one bigger tree that we see there. I'll probably put a stand up there and be shooting down this direction here if everything works out. So I'm going to set up the camera today. Today is uh, uh, 18th, I think. March 18th, 2021. Spring bear is what the goal is here. So yeah, I'm going to set up my camera here and then we will... Uh, Leave the area alone for about a week, maybe two weeks, and we'll come check our uh, SD card. He's on delay. 
should work out really nice. And I think I see there's a little bird over there. <laughs> there's a little bird over there. I think he wants to come here and start eating already. Yeah, we'll leave that for a, a week or two. And then we'll uh, come see what's eating at it. Hopefully those bears show up or that wolf. Maybe a coyote. Uh, it's possibly a skunk, whatever. There's so many animals feed off of stuff like that. That'll all be gone within probably a couple of days. So hopefully we catch some cool pictures on, on the bait pile. So I'm out here in my uh, the field on our land that we hunt on. There's my mock scrape. And there's my stand. And I shot the spiker from that tree. I wasn't in the stand. That stand is kind of broken. I gotta fix it. But I was at the base of that those two trees there. I was standing there calling and grunting. And from there the spiker came out to the grunt. And the rattle, I guess. But he came walking. Walked to here. I don't know if you can see it. It's a little flat here. And there, we dragged him out back to the vehicle that's behind that tree about half a mile. But I want to show you something that I just saw. He was standing right here. If you line up that tree where I was standing, where I was posted, and where he was standing here, I want to show you something. As we get closer, you're going to start noticing something. I'm going to go right to it. Look at that. Now I'm going to show you on the other side here. See, I'm not sure if you can see that. Yes, right here. That's the path of my bullet. The bullet hit this tree. Oh, so I'm standing there. I'm shooting this way, and my bullet went right through that tree. <laughs> I sh I'm gonna cut this tree down yet. At one point, I'm gonna bring it home. I wounded the tree. That's pretty cool. But yeah, in that field over there, that's where I shot Tim the year before. That was 20, 2019. I'm still waiting for him to come back from the taxidermist. It's been over a year. But yeah, we're going to go do some shed hunting now. So hopefully I have some more video for you. This is hilarious. I'm walking on our land here. And I always say, I never find any sheds. I'm not very lucky. I never find any sheds. <laughs> Look at that little one. Uh, that is hilarious. I actually found a shed. The tiniest little shed, but I found one. That's one for 2021. <laughs> See if I can find the other side. So we're uh, on this piece of property that we're thinking that we might end up buying for for deer hunting and uh, I'm in about a quarter of a mile it's a quarter section so it's a half mile by a half mile and it's not too bad it's uh, some decent trails coming through your deer trails and uh, so I'm in here come I wanted to come check it out see what it looked like if I could actually access it and I'm about in the middle of the middle of the property here so and uh, it look it looks like there'd be a lot of deer traveling through here so the bush is not super super high but uh, there's uh, it crosses the highway and there is so many so many tracks trails going across the highway coming out of this piece so so I'm wandering around here a little bit checking it out and also uh, 
shed hunting, um, antler sheds. I haven't seen anything here yet, but I did find one at the other property, <laughs> which is cool. But uh, I'm going to keep looking around here. If I find something, then we'll share a picture. But I'm going to show you around here a little bit first. So this is a six feet head height, kind of what it looks like. There's a bit of an opening there. I would probably put a tree stand in that one tree right there. It's pretty cool. I like this. I'm going to wander in that way and then go back. Our truck is back that way, so. Which is east, northeast, I guess. No, that would be northwest. Yeah. But, uh, gonna wander around here a little bit more yet. Yeah. 